it's a late rainy season this year, at least later than last year. Uh, but we're into it now. Uh, does bring cooler temps though. Note the flannel. And so a pa chansoon. That's what we call. That's literally what we call it. It's the high class clothing store. It's the only place that fun doesn't completely freak out if I go shopping by myself. It's kind of a joke. I just kind of tease with her a little bit. Sometimes I just want a certain thing and I'll just go grab it. And I am an adult, but uh, most of the time I really do prefer to uh, go with her because uh, she picks stuff I'd never pick. And then I hesitate to wear it because it's something I would never pick. And then finally I put it on. I'm like, well, gee, that looks pretty sharp. You know, I, I feel reasonably well-dressed to go to a nice restaurant or something. I would not never have thought that. So I suck at uh, clothing, apparently. So uh, we will not be making this the fashion channel anytime soon. <sighs> Anyways, yeah, I mean, this kind of life's not for everyone, you know. And an approaching school bus at an unsafe rate of speed, in my opinion. It is such a crazy place. You do have to sort of, so many times, I just sort of stand back and wonder and go, wow, that's really not safe. Whoa, I wouldn't do that. Whoa, this place is crazy. All right, we're all going to lunch now. I mean, nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. Uh, it does bother me when I see the, the, the young people on motorcycles just with obviously no safety equipment, no training, no, no apparent knowledge of how that can work out very badly for them. It's, it does, I mean, it's a human being. You just worry when you see them go by. It's like, oh, geez, you poor thing. I wish somebody would teach you a couple things. But it's not my job, and it would be wrong if I tried. Anyhow, um, I did talk, I did mention to, to Usani if she ever wanted to do some other types of schools, but she's so busy teaching Thai. She loves the Thai language, uh, bless her heart, and she's, I mean, just, you know, just so, you get to a point where you're so successful you can't do anything else, and, and there's just no room. But I'd, 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 I'd love to teach a motorcycle safety class. Um, that could maybe start a trend, you know. So I put up content last night oh my gosh i finally got it to load it was one of those videos that fights you tooth and nail oh i had to i had it pretty much edited looking pretty good to my general standard it was a tricky video with lots of content at least three or four hours of editing into it it's a ends up being about i think 16 minutes give or take it's uh oh what the hell did i call it man now i want to see hang on I titled it Transition to Retired in Thailand. I wanted to talk about the uh, timeline. And you can see in the video, I'm doing the math, and uh, the look on my face, I'm like, oh, shit. Pardon my language. I'm like, oh, dang. It's, uh, uh, it dawns on me, it's been a three and a half year total journey so far. I didn't realize it had been that much time already um, from when I first kind of poked my head up out of my life and I said, hey, this. You know, um, three and a half years ago, apparently, is when it dawned on me for the first time that as I was prepping and in the kind of the final approach for my, my retirement, the last, well, I thought I had 10 or 15 more years and, it real, and then I realized I had maybe just a few years and it turns out I had two. But um, I thought I had maybe five or seven, and it turned out I had two. It always goes quicker than you think. And I, I, anyway, that's a whole other concept. But um, so when I first poked my head up on, on the on the, on the retirement and realized, geez, this is you know, I I don't know if I'd like this retirement. I don't. This wouldn't be fun or enjoyable or anything, you know. And then and it's like, oh well, crap, because I've worked like 35 years for this specific retirement, and now. Now what do I do, you know? So, turn around, take a really short walk. I don't want to push it. Um, starting, to, starting to hurt a little already. Okay, posture. Um, anyway, so, so now, so I, I talk about that. And, and so this, I want to, I'd like to, I'm going to attempt to do the part two, um, which that needs a two part, um, which is now the 18 months to here. So, I mean, here I land. I was in pretty rough shape. I was just barely walking. I arrived in obviously a lot of pain from the flight, but I, th that goes away after a few days. But um, I was just barely walking. I was using my cane more than I do now. I felt rough. You know, I felt rough. I really did. I, I, I felt like I was, uh, you know, um, just out of, the, out of the blender or something. It was, it was, 
it was a rough experience, right? I mean, you've, you've planned on your retirement, you've done all these things, and now you're fire sailing everything. You know, you have this hostile division of assets with your person that was, you know, you're going to, you know, all that good stuff. And you, know, you get here and it's like, whoo, you know, you're just like, you just ran a marathon with a pack of dogs chasing you, you know. I mean, it's really, uh, um, you know, it was rough, you know. And and uh, and then you <laughs> run into all the scammers and it's like, you know, is this nightmare going to end? Or, you know, am I a bad person? Did I... You know, did I die and go the wrong way? I mean, what happened, you know? Um, but eventually, boy, I just really had to really keep my head calm. And again, I've got really significant ADD, so focusing on things is tough, and it's generally easy, been easy in the past. I think it's difficult now, because it, finally I've learned some skills on that to compensate. But if you have a weakness, you can you can manually study and learn a skill and compensate, but that can take a very long time in my opinion and most people I think never do that but um, I did finally get myself to where I have a, uh, a bit of a protection now against manipulators and scammers and negative thinking people uh, and a big part of that is just being quick quick to cut bait um, I, I, I just never understand some of the things people do but um, no so I get here and I go through all that and then but then um, uh, eventually down the line I meet Fawn and of course by then I'm already guard way up and then uh, geez we had a, a, a mutual friend and that lady turned out to be a scammer and that that was like another freaking landmine so close or like a bullet whizzing by your head and you can hear the air you know just wow another close call geez I mean there's like they're everywhere you know and it's like uh, what was that uh, Donald Sutherland uh, movie where they're all aliens with the seeds and stuff like that and they all look like people but they weren't you know geez they're all they're all these scammers they're not normal people you know oh gosh it was terrible invasion of the, of the body snatchers that's what it was i want to say it was like the late 70s donald sutherland when he was a younger guy which is a long time ago it's been a long slow process to to calm down but then to allow myself to kind of calm down and you have to i think kind of up your guard a little bit to have a real relationship. I don't think you can be on, I don't know the answer to that, but I don't think I, if I'm on full guard, I can really have a real relationship. So, but uh, anyhow, so, but yeah, now, so I get here and I was in rough shape. I mean, physically, I looked like kind of a wreck because I was all stressed out. Um, and again, I had the rapid weight loss right before coming here, which was great to have, but like I said, I had, uh, it kind of is hard on your body though. And you look, kind of like it's hard on your body like I had like my this is kind of weird but my hair got more gray for a while and now it's less I mean I fun colors it but between coloring I get looks like less gray so like I think I was just stressed you know like hey gee you know those things are stressful things I read somewhere that uh moving is almost the same whoa oh animal jumping up in the tree hopefully not one of those tree crocodiles I'm joking, but that's a real thing. They used to call them tree crocodiles. Now they call them uh, crocodile monitors. Um, second most dangerous lizard in the world. They're here. But I don't think they're common. Uh, uh, old friend of mine, not a close friend, but a good acquaintance, however you want to say it, however it's fair to say it. Uh, he, he's a famous YouTube reptile keeper, like big time. He has millions of viewers and, and subscribers and stuff. He's a big, big channel. You probably know who he is. And... Uh, he has a whole bunch of crazy reptiles, and I handled a 16-foot Burmese python of his once. The 18-footer he wouldn't bring out. No, he goes, nobody, that thing is super dangerous. That thing wants to kill you. So I'm like, yeah, keep that in the cage. But now he's got a whole bunch of, he's got a 20-foot snake, a reticulated python, and, uh, and then, but the only animal he won't handle is, is, is that tree crocodile, the, uh, the croc monitor. That's the only animal he, that they're scared. They're, he, he's, you can truly see he's, he's very afraid of that thing. But I guess they'll take your hand right off. They'll just, all right, that's gone. Now what? Snake won't do that. Oh, so I get here, and I was in pretty darn rough shape. And oh, I've worked out the light changes like that. Pretty damn rough shape. And, uh, you know, I think it just took me a while to kind of calm down and settle down. And it was immediate, just, I just focused on recuperating from the surgery, just the surgical recuperation. Um, and then I pretty quickly, I think 
after about a month or two of rest, uh, a lot of bed rest, a lot of bed rest in that time. Um, then I started doing, all right, Ken, Coon, Ken Hancoon, Robert, Tom, YouTube, my, Dai Mai. Okay, yep, uh, Usani, and some, most of that was all iPad, but there was some in person. It was really cool to see her for the first time because I'd, I'd known her by that point for almost two years uh, through my iPad. Um, so it was really kind of, kind of, kind of a neat, uh, call it a reunion or whatever you want to call it to actually meet her in person. So that's been really helpful. I, I had, you know, unfortunately began a very aggressive physical rehabilitation, uh, which was incorrect because I, had, I thought my spine was fused and it wasn't. So um, for a while, it, it took a while for that to take in for my body to start to reject that ther therapy and get really painful. It, it, it kind of like shucked it off for a little while. Um, but then after about six more months, then my pain began to get worse and worse. And then I was getting to where I was having trouble walking again. And then I'm like, okay, we got a problem. We're, we're, we were walking before, now we're not walking again. What happened? I mean, that the MRI, microwave burrito routine and all that. And I was really shocked when three Thai doctors told me the same thing, that the surgery screwed up. It was done incorrectly. I mean, that's an odd thing to say. Now, normally Thais are very polite and won't say something bad about somebody else. I don't know if that's less of a thing, if it's obviously a non-Thai doctor that did my surgery. But really, this whole 18 months, I've been just getting acclimated. I just really look like crap, and it's the... I never really thought about my appearance much, other than I always dressed like a slob because I was a gym rat, and so I just was one of those guys that way underdressed everywhere, wore sweats everywhere, and everybody just kind of went, yeah, that's Rob, you know, and he's the big gym guy, and, you know hung out a lot of my bodybuilding friends and, you know, just whatever. But I always said to myself, I want, and I really meant it. I really, I wanted to kind of clean myself up and be a little more uh, respectable looking when I got older and I retired. And there was just no reason to look like a slob anymore. Now I'm a retired, I want to look like a retired gentleman. I'm a retired gentleman and that's what I want to look like. I, um, as I met, I started dating Fawn and she's obviously a lot younger than me and she's quite pretty and everything. Then I became maybe a little self-conscious. Uh, I don't think any of this is out of hand. And uh, I've just been cleaning, my, I've been cleaning myself up a little bit. <sighs> it's like a side hobby. Um, I went through a phase of more aggressively learning Thai. I took kind of a break where I was just doing two classes a week, but not much homework. Normally you cannot learn Thai by just speaking it. You're gonna have to be taught. Because there's so much of what they do is so different than what we do. And then they speak short form. You've got to learn long form first and then speak short form. You can't just skip. Having said all that, so I was doing a lot of Thai studying. So really it became kind of like my little self-improvement boot camp, which again, self-improvement's a super common hobby for bodybuilders and weight trainers and, and people like that. All my, all my friends from the gym were all into that. They all have these self-improvement books or, you know, whatever it was. And I think in my case, that's very appropriate because I've got so much physical stuff going on. Um, and then really then, as I began to date Fawn more and more, then more and more of my time began to be about her and then her, 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 her boys, which are important to her. And then a little bit about her family. Her family mostly helps her, but you know, a little bit about you know, with her family and that. And then and that, that's kind of what happens. That's kind of what happens there. Uh, and then I went through a phase of trying more aggressively to make friends. Okay, I'm going to have to break this up into two parts. This will be the end of part one. All right, this is my, I've had it kind of, whoa. All right, I'm going to sit in my chair now and edit that video. Just took an ibuprofen. And we have it. I feel a little better already just sitting out. Jesus sucks, though. I want to do. I'm going to try and, uh, if the weather clears and, and, and night clear up a little bit as well, uh, then uh, I'm going to ride my motorcycle to the welding shop and have a chat about the next uh, few things I want to do. I, I will be getting a different motorcycle, yeah, yeah, I will, but uh, in the meanwhile, I want to make this as comfortable for me and tolerable as I can and all that, so uh, I think that's a good move. Uh, otherwise, it's nice and quiet. I got the whole place to myself. Everyone's going to work, so I'll put some... Uh, Black Sabbath on slightly loud, not crazy. I don't like crazy loud anymore, but a little comfortable, good listening volume, and then uh, we have to study some Thai. Uh, I want to get back into my Thai now. 
I'm ready to. Took a break for a few months where I was just doing the bare minimum and still advancing. But you know, now I can I can pick up the pace a little bit. I've got a new student I'm with who's a little younger and sharper than me, so it motivates me to pick up my game. It's like build days in the gym. All right, thanks. My name is Rob, and thank you for supporting my YouTube channel. I meant every word I just said with respect.